Boogie drop that beat. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, or lives, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Wanda on Carlos. What happened? What happened to these ratings? Now, in the prior week, episode 6... The ratings were up to 339,000 views. This past week, episode 7, the views, they were light. They were a little light. The views only came in at 321,000. So, what happened? Y'all had recruited Wanda, who's no longer a part of the show right now. Y'all had her promoting the show. And the viewers caught on to that. Like we didn't see no other we we see no cast members promoting the show. But y'all recruited Wanda. She she tried, she did, but people not feeling Wanda like that. Well hell, people not feeling none of y'all castmates like that, besides Melody and Miss Van. But y'all edited Miss Van out. Y'all got Wanda promoting the show. But my question to y'all is, what happened? Wanda was on her platform begging for viewers, telling everybody that things were going to start coming out over the next couple of weeks. Tea was going to be spilled over the next couple of days. And she was going on her platform the next day after the episode aired to keep it a hundred. Now she did, she went on her platform, but she didn't keep it a hundred. But what she did was take a dig at Melody and trying to laugh, talking about Melody was only featured in one scene during the episode. Well, my question is how they wanted to know that Melody was only going to have one scene feature. She was only going to be cast one time for the episode. How did Wanda know? She's not even on the show. Tisha and Marceau, they're not producers. But Wanda privy to that information? Oh, that's how y'all got her geeked up to promote the episode? By telling her that Melody is... She not promoting it for Melody? She promoting it for Tisha? Well, how did that work out for y'all? And I wonder, is it, did y'all do that on purpose trying to see if Tisha, Stormy, and Kimmy can actually carry the show without Melody? Well, it didn't work. Y'all see y'all need Melody. Because Tisha... Her scene, she's so dull. She She's just boring. She had to bring up a post from two years ago to make it a storyline. I'm like, what? Do y'all know how far back Tisha had to scroll to find a post that old to make it relevant? Why? Why? Then you got Stormy, the goat keeper, plops herself right in the middle of a beef that had just been resolved the day before. Why? Kiki said, I do not want to bring that up again. Stormy, I guess she felt as though since she wanted to talk about it, everybody needed to talk about it. Kiki fell for it. I, I blame Kiki for it because she's a grown woman. If she didn't want to talk about it, she shouldn't have talked about it because I wouldn't have. I said no. I said no. But Stormy, she's in the middle of it. And she 
going off on both sides. Then she goes and get Tisha to do what? For drama, more drama? That was like really, really unnecessary. If I was Tiffany, I would have been like, come on now. A post from when? I don't know what why I liked it. I liked it because I liked it. That's the end of it. And that's and that would have killed the, the rest of that storyline. But no, y'all wanted to keep it going and y'all had y'all trusted Stormy. Y'all got Stormy and Tisha teaming up. The two people that always saying that they don't bother nobody. They don't do drama. Everybody jealous of them. And people always coming for them. Well who was coming for them. Last week. Who was coming for them on this episode. Because Stormy didn't have to open up her mouth. And Tisha didn't either. The stuff that they said didn't need to be said. And it, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. There's going to be. No show free of drama. But if the drama happened naturally, that's one thing. But when you have to dig up a post from two years ago, that means you don't have no storyline. That means that beef should have stayed buried. But I'm still wondering what happened. What happened to the views? What happened? Well, let me help you out there. Don't nobody want to see... Tisha, Stormy, and their co-signer, Tiffany. Trying to carry the show. We just don't want to see it. Because Tisha and Stormy, they're not, we can't um, resonate with them. We can't, we can't get inspired by them. We can't relate to them. Because they're not real. And Storm, I mean, uh, Kimmy, she's just a co-signer for the both of them. That's all she is, is a co-signer. Don't nobody want to see that. That's th that last week didn't give us nothing we can relate to. But I'm still wondering what happened. These people... They're not showing their real lives. Y'all only show Melody in one scene, but yet she was the topic of discussion in almost every scene that was played out. She was in she was the topic of discussion when uh Tiffany, Stormy, I mean with I'm sorry. Kimmy, Stormy, and Tisha met. She was the topic of discussion when Maurice and Kimmy were talking. She was even the topic of discussion with Sheree and Martel. But y'all trying to fool yourself and say y'all don't need her. Y'all fooling yourselves. Y'all should, y'all, I mean, everybody was thinking the same thing. If everybody going to speak about her, then y'all should have just let Melody fail. Why take her off if she still has to be the topic of discussion? But I'm still wondering what happened. I know y'all scratching y'all heads too. Well, let me help you out a little further. When y'all sent Martel to them baby's birthday party and he acted a complete fool putting not only the Eminem kids in jeopardy but their friends in jeopardy and you know it's like at the expense of what ratings more people start chucking the deuces saying nope I'm not here for this that was an epic fail and then on y'all had a nerve to make a post and laugh about it even after people were tweeting and going on their uh, platforms, expressing how poor taste that was, what did y'all do? Y'all put up a post of y'all own 
laughing about the situation. So people was like, oh no. And they was like, so they was like, I'm chucking the deuces. I'm gone. I'm out. Then y'all had the nerve to edit out Miss Van. Now y'all know the viewers are tuning in to see Melody and Miss Van. And y'all gonna edit her out? But y'all didn't mind showing Stormy Mama. Y'all didn't mind showing Martell Mama. Hell, y'all even didn't mind showing Tisha plus one on camera. But y'all edit out Miss Van. Y'all know Miss Van is Love and Mary Tunsville favorite mom. But y'all edit her scenes out. That was a huge no-no for the viewers. And they was like, okay, really chucking the deuces. And y'all still trying to play in our face. So the viewers was like, okay, well, since y'all going to play in our face, edit out med Melody scenes, edit out Miss Van scenes, and y'all trying to put these nobodies in our face. Since they not listening to us, we're going to chuck the deuces and hit them where it hurt. Take the ratings down some more. My mama always said, ain't no lesson like a bot lesson. And on Carlos, the cast of Love and Mary Tunsville, y'all are buying y'all lessons. Because these poor ratings, I know it's kicking y'all all in y'all behind. Each and every last one of y'all. See, y'all thought y'all was going to be able to phase out Melody and Miss Van. And it was going to be easy. But what y'all forgot was that Melody and Miss Van have a lot of supporters. The very reason why I love a Mary Chansfield... It's the number one show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. So y'all forgot about that part. Now, the fans don't really care. The viewers don't, we don't really care if Love and Mary Tunsville stay on the air or not. Like I say, people have already chucked the deuces, as you can see with the ratings keep going down. The only episode that probably would have gave y'all some clout to at least smile, it probably would have been the hundredth episode. But because y'all messed up and I don't know, didn't uh I don't I don't know y'all programming messed up. It didn't it aired late, didn't air on some channels, didn't record. Y'all know it's Saturday night, y'all know people go out. So whoever do y'all programming. And post to push that button and let the show air. Messed up. So y'all did that to yourself that week. Now that show probably would have took y'all up at least to 400000 or something. Because a lot of people that was willing and ready to tune in couldn't. So y'all messed yourself up on that one. Y'all bad. Maybe it was for the best. But the people that's left watching, they only watching to see the bull crap that y'all are trying to pull on Melody and Miss Van. They've done away with the show because we know the storylines aren't real. We know that um, y'all are, you know, showing favoritism. We know it's a lot. It's just a big mess. And it's a big, a big fail, big flop this year. Well, it's been that way for, for a while. But when you start trying to face Mel out, picking on Mel, editing Miss Van out, and um, still having people, the cast, um, try to bully Melody, people are like, no, this is not black excellence in any way. And since... Own and Carlos don't care. Why do y'all think the viewers should care? 
we can always reclaim our time and go and watch Bravo just like Carlo does. It's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.